A lot of you guys have asked me for a Starboard series in the past, and so here it is. A lot of you also said this is what's going to get me to 3,000 subscribers, so if you don't subscribe, then you guys are going to lie to me. and lie. That's mean. But anyways, basically a Starboard is where people react to a certain message, and if it gets enough reactions, then it'll be added to its own little, I guess, channel thread where it will be highlighted. It's kind of like a community-run pinned comments, or basically people like vote on it and if enough people i guess start the post then it can be displayed in front of everyone it's kind of like a status i guess in a way if you get a starred post that's pretty cool and that's exactly what we're going to be building in today's video so we're going to require three libraries and there will be a couple prerequisites that you should be expected to know before you should try to build this system and that is you should be fluent in netscord or just discord bot development in general with python and I have a video on that, so if you're not, I really suggest you go check that out beforehand and then come back to this video. You should also know at least a bit about databases as that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. And so, yeah, and we're going to be using in specific AIO SQLite or just SQLite 3. AIO is the asynchronous version of it. And yeah, so we're going to be using three packages, which is going to be discord.py. This can be PyCore, NextCord. It will work with all of that. EDPY, uh, Disnake, everything, you name it, it should work. Uh, we're also going to be using AIO SQLite to connect with our database. And lastly, we're also going to be using async.io. And with that out of the way, hit the intro. Okay, so here is my very boilerplate code. And... All it is, is I'll make it bigger for you guys, but it's just a bot, I guess variable, some imports, an on ready event, and a run, right? And so what we're gonna start off by doing is in the on ready, we're gonna create an attribute of bot, and that's gonna be initialized when the bot is ready. So it will be called, it will be an attribute of bot, and we're just gonna call it database, right? Or DB. And then what its function is, is OE, there, your SQL, like connect and instead of database.view it's going to be called starboard.db and we're actually going to create a new file right here called starboard.db and we're not going to put anything into it we're just going to keep this off to the side and we really won't need this now now that we have that what we're going to do is we're going to do await async io.sleep and we're going to sleep for like two seconds right here and that's where the other library comes in right here and once that is there, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to do async with bot.db.person. And the reason that we actually do this is so we don't create multiple connections constantly, which will lag out the bot and it will put a lot of more pressure on it. So we just create one connection at the start of it and we're just going to keep on referring back to that one connection. And then inside here, what we're going to do is cursor.execute, await cursor.execute, and we're going to do create table if not exists and it's going to be called star setup like so and then inside here we're going to have a couple of things and this one's actually going to be going inside of the i guess database and this is inside the database table so first things first is it's going to be a star limit and this is going to be an integer and there's also going to be a channel which is also going to be an integer and then not a message but we're going to read a message here to guild and that's basically the guild id the channel id and then the star limit i'll explain what all these are a bit later on but i think you guys already know what this is and basically the star limit is the amount of reactions a message needs to actually make it onto the star board and so after we have that, we're going to have to do this all the time after we actually change the leaderboard, I mean the database, and that's just await bot.db.commit, like so. And so that's essentially it. It is a method, so make sure you have that, and it's spelled with two M's. But now that we have that, we're going to create a commands.group, and that's going to be for the setup. So we're going to do bot.group. And that's just going to make our bot a little bit more organized. And we're not going to code anything in this group. You'll see what I mean. That's just going to be called setup. Right? You can call this whatever you want. But we're just going to pass in a basic CTX. And it's essentially, if you do this in, I guess, cogs, it's essentially the same. If you're doing this with slash commands, it's going to be for, it's going to be like a sub command. That's what they call it. But I'm just saying, you know, for this one, you will need the message 
I guess, the message intent, which will allow you to read messages that are sent and such. And so that's why we have Discord intent set to all. Now, if you have a verified bot, you will need to apply for that intent. So I'm just letting you know in beforehand. And over here, we're just going to do if ctx dot invoke underscore subcommand is none. And then we can do await ctx or just honestly return await ctx dot send. And we're going to send that subcommand does not exist and that's so if somebody tries to do a subcommand that just doesn't exist or provides an invalid subcommand then we're just going to return this and so that doesn't cause us future errors and now we're here to to add a command to the group right here it's really simple we're saying to set up dot command yep just like that and we're also gonna make it commands dot dot has underscore permission and over here we're gonna do so we're gonna do manage underscore guild and so if you don't have manage underscore guild or manage server if you don't have that permission you aren't able to actually run this command and then right here we can do async def and we're just gonna call this channel and it's gonna take out two parameters ctx and channel and I went to here Channel, which is going to be equal to discord.channel, right? Use this, uh, this little colon right here. Don't use equal sign and don't equal it to none or anything. We're going to handle all that in our air handler that we're going to do later on in the series. It's going to be a really short series, maybe two or three episodes, but yeah, we're just going to handle this a bit later on. So now what we can do is async def and we're just literally going to copy this, right? It's, that's exactly where it is. And so after we have the cursor open, we're going to select some data. So cursor dot execute like so, and this is where we could select our data. So we can do select, and we're gonna just select channel. We don't need to select anything else because we're only referring to the channel. And we're just gonna do right here. So from star setup right here, which is our table name, uh, where guild right. So it's gonna make sure we grab it from the correct guild, and we're gonna define what that guild is right here in our parameters. And so. Now that we have that, we actually want to fetch whatever this data is and store in a variable. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do channel data a equals to await cursor dot fetch one. And we're going to check if channel data actually exists. So if it does, then we're going to do channel data equals channel data zero because it will return it as a tuple or and like in a list form, right? So we just want to grab the first value and it's only going to have one value because we used fetch one. So, and this, if you know anything how arrays work in Python and in a lot of other languages, it goes as the first value would be 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. So, this will just save it really quickly and it will make it a lot easier for us. Now, we can do if channel data equals equals to channel.id. This is the channel that they specified above here. So, what we can do here is say they're trying to change their, what do you call channel to the same channel that's already provided. What we can do is, so we don't waste resources or anything, we can just return await tkx.sn, letting them know that that is already the channel being used. That channel is already set up, like so. And then, now that we have that, we can actually get started with updating the database. So when it comes to that, we're just going to do cursor.execute, and that's going to be update and star setup like so and star setup set channel and or where guild is equal to question mark and we're just going to pass in the channel id and then the guild id like so we just want to uh, correct a couple of i guess what you call it, syntax errors right there just so i guess it's a bit better uh there's also an error over here which is odd oh yeah that should be removed and there we go and then lastly now that it is updated we can do await ctx.send and this is going to be an f string actually so right there and we're going to do channel.mention is now like so
right? And notice how we didn't return this because we want to still commit a status. The reason we returned it here is because there's nothing to actually add to this to the database, so we could just leave that be and not waste resources on anything else. And now we're gonna add an else, right? So let's say channel data doesn't even exist, right? They wanna like completely add something. Well, that's really easy to do either. We're gonna make use of the insert, I guess, function inside of AIO SQLite. So we're gonna do insert, and this is where we can insert into, and this is where we define the table. So star setup. Like so, and we're gonna do values, and this is how this is where you define how many values. So I'm gonna add three question marks, like so, because we have three values. And then after here, I'm gonna actually add what those I guess values will be. So first thing will be our star limit. I'm gonna default that to five. So you need at least five reactions to actually make it onto the starboard. And then I'm gonna do channel.id, and that's gonna be our channel integer. And then our guild integer is going to be ctx.guild.id, like so, and it's really simple. And last things is we could just copy and paste the same code in here, and that's basically it. And what we can do now is just commit this data, and that's essentially it. All this is is this will update our channel. And now before we test that out, we're going to replicate this just for our star limit. And we're barely going to change any of the code up, right? So it's really simple. So first things first, it's instead of channel, it's going to be star. And that's going to be an integer. And then over here, instead of selecting channel, we're going to select star limit. And over here, instead of channel data, it's actually going to be star data. And we can actually click Control D if you're on Visual Studio Code. If you hold Control D, you can edit them all at once. So instead of that, we can do star data. That just saves us a lot more time. And then we could do that is the star limit. We can just change up a bit of this, right? So it, I guess, flows a bit better. And that's basically it, right? We're just going to be changing a couple of these. So set star limit, and we're going to set this to whatever they specified. So star. And then over here, Instead of that, we're going to do uh, star is now the star limit. Copy that same thing here, and boom. And then right here, we're going to do star. And we're just going to default this to zero because no channel ID is actually given to us. So we're going to give that a zero. And believe it or not, that's essentially it, right? It was really easy after we coded this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this run button right here. Oh, and uh, I guess we had one error. I, kept, I forgot to keep this as channel. We're going to change this to stars right here so now if i were to run that same code again you'll see that we will get bot is up and ready and there you can see and watch we'll check the database right here i can open the database on the side here and you'll see that we have a star setup table and that's what we created here and we'll see that is updated now so here i am in my discord link down below in the description please join i'm really trying to get to a thousand members and here you can see that drone is online so if i do help you'll see that we have two things right so help setup right and we can also do help category so help setup and you'll see that way has two sub commands right so stars and channel so if i were to do something like i don't know setup hi 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 you'll see that that sub command doesn't exist and that's what we coded earlier so now if i were to do something like setup channel right and we're actually going to specify channel so we're just going to do for now the boost and giveaways channel right here please boost my server but anyways over here what we're going to do is boost and giveaways we're just going to specify that one channel and right there and there we go that's now the starboard channel okay so now that we have that what i'm going to do is i'm going to run right here you can see set up stars right so stars and i'm going to keep this to i don't know an integer First it was five, so we're gonna change this to nine. And so it's gonna say nine is now the star limit. And now, right, if we hop into, I guess, Visual Studio Code again, right, you'll see we haven't had any errors on our end, right, I hope. And if I actually click the show table, you'll see that it shows up. So here is nine, our star limit that we set. This is the channel ID, and this is my server ID. And that's essentially it. This is a starboard, I guess, the start of a starboard, I guess, um, feature in 
discord.py and next code whatever you're using anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed until next time glow stick out see ya